This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very exciting guest with us. It's John McCann. He is the CEO of Mace Security International, Inc. They trade on the uh, OTC pinks under the ticker symbol M-A-C-E. John, welcome to the show, and thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. You know, give us a little back- background of yourself and your company, and then we'll get into the Q&A. Oh, sure. Well, again, thanks for having me. So, Base Security International is the original manufacturers of pepper spray. So, we invented pepper spray back in 1965. It's evolved from that period to today but it is the number one personal defense product in the market. It's a worldwide brand that's recognized from a 16-year-old to a 66-year-old person in the United States. And we like to say at Mace that we sell empowerment. I came on board just about four years ago to turn the brand around. The company had gotten into car washes, gotten into some other uh, non-core businesses, and we really divested of all those businesses to really um, promote and and put the shine back onto the to the core business of safety and security and and we're we're enjoying some great couple quarters just here recently and with a, a lot of optimism towards the future yeah you guys did over about eight million in revenues in 2015 is that correct correct yeah outstanding. And, and that was up from about 7.1 million the year prior and we're actually looking to be a little over $9 million this year. So it took a three-year analysis. We, you know, in our core businesses, we, we've we uh, grown by $3 million, which that's, is, that's which is great growth. Absolutely. You know, give us the growth potential of Mace Security. Well, it's a great question, Everett, and, and it's twofold in our in our growth potential. Not only on the civilian side, where we're seeing a lot of people looking towards products, whether you're a gun owner or not, that this the Mace brand uh, pepper spray and our Night Beams products can keep you safe and, and let you lead a healthy lifestyle. Then also, we in 2015, we got our tactical division back on the solid legs and solid foundings, and we created our takedown division. So Mace Tactical Solutions for law enforcement, for military for a lot of different um, organizations that protect the public. We relaunched the segment with a lot of success. We're seeing some tremendous growth, both domestically and internationally. So we really feel there's a high ceiling for the company and the fact that we can both sell to civilians and also sell to law enforcement and protect people. How big is this market space? Are we talking? That's a very good question. If you look at it twofold on the market space side, on the civilian side, it's kind of un, untapped growth, right? So today we think the market's anywhere from 40 to 50 million, but that market could double because a lot of our major retailers, like we just started shipping Walmart, for example, but a lot of our major retailers are just now saying, hey, this is a product in a category that we want to get more involved in. If we look at our law enforcement, our tactical solution side, the sky's the limit because Estimates based on Homeland Security estimates are anywhere from $80 billion, you know, and that includes heavy armament and et cetera, you know, all the way down to people. So the Pentagon itself, for example, has put together a task force within the Pentagon of less lethal strategies. How can they incorporate some less lethal strategies within, you know, what they're doing on a broader scale basis? And then every police department now is, reevaluating their continuum of force and how can they look at other measures and other products that can help keep an officer safe and the public safe before the you know, officer feels that it's the right time for him to pull his weapon. My guest today is John McCann. He is the CEO of May Security International. They trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol M-A-C-E. John, let me ask you this less than lethal segment of security here in our own backyards we have um taser international i'm sure you're familiar with them do, sure do you think you guys will get to uh new products in that sort of a category 
Where's the, the lethal segment of your Well, and I think it's a, Robert, it's a great question. On the less than lethal or the non-lethal segment, I think you look at what Taser's been able to do, uh, you know, which is remarkable, transforming the company from a products company to a technology company. We feel the same bandwidth is available to base. We, you know, Taser makes a great product that, that helps keep law enforcement and the public safe, and now they've, they've – Look at cameras and their evidence.com that will also store the evidence and allow the court systems to figure out what they do. We look at Mace on the technology side to being able to come forward with, with smart products. We, we launched one last year, Mace 911, which basically just hits a button and it goes right to a 911 operator in your area, which will keep you safe. And we look, as we look towards the future, we'll see a blend of technology in with our with our standard pepper spray product to create a, a smart environment for an individual user. Our kids have transformed the world with technology and I and that's not going to stop. So we we are looking at ways and methodologies to kind of take advantage of that and then also in the future be able to keep people safe in the environment they live in. You know, your uh your product Mace obviously you guys have a uh a patent on it is it a utility patent and do you have a patent in the international also here nationally uh take us through. right so there's sorry to interrupt you no, no, go ahead. There's several patents both on our like mace alert 911 we have some design and utility patents on our on our product we have some different uh patents and some protections on what we do and how we do it for example, we're the first ones that introduce a flip-top lid on our patented pepper spray product, which then allows a user, it, it cuts down the amount of misuse, I should say, with the product because it orientates itself away from the individual, and then it also orientates your thumb or your finger on the trigger in order to be able to spray and use it. As we fast forward in the future, like the court systems have changed dramatically on patents, so a lot of it is going to be how inventive we are or how creative we are and what we're doing versus what our competition's doing. Because now patents, quite honestly, used to be the onus was on the courts to try and help you along. Now the onus is on the individual. So what we're really looking at is, is what people are looking for in the market and make sure we produce products that hit their need and, and then constantly respond to those needs. Who is your competitor in this market space? When you look at the different segments of the market space, there's there's several companies that work with law enforcement that we consider competition. But in essence, our competition is, is I don't know, because 51% of the people that have bought pepper spray have bought the Mace branded pepper spray. And so a lot of times what we find is that, oh, I don't know what my pepper spray is, or it's just a generic brand. So I think what we look at doing is just constantly enhancing, enhancing that base brand name with our catalogs that we put out to the public have won awards. Our new packaging has won an award from the prestigious a design Institute in Italy. So on the competition side, we kind of view it as that it's ourselves that we constantly have to reinvent ourselves and come up with the next greatest thing, you know, from being the original manufacturer of pepper spray to where we are today. You know, your revenues increased, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, about 15% uh, from 2014 to 2015. You know, what international plans do you guys have? Do you have plans to for expansion to go international? Yeah, Everett, that's a very good question. And we do have plans internationally. Today, we, we refashioned how we're going to the market internationally. We have some great distributors between Bright Strike, German Gun Sport, and several other distributors that we're looking at in Europe. We're also entertaining the ideas of producing mace brand and pepper spray in Europe to feed the markets over there. The markets over there are slightly different than the markets here. For example, in Germany, gun ownership is, is equal to the United States, but the gun laws are um, triple that of the United States. So consequently, there's a lot of gun ownership, but then there's also a lot of, of need for the mace branded pepper spray products so we're looking at those and looking at how we respond and how we best respond to it but we set up some great partnerships in, in europe and we're going to constantly look at that to say when's the right time to potentially produce over in europe and you know save the freight some of the other transportation costs that are somewhat burdensome today you know we talked about this earlier you guys did roughly around eight million in 2015 out of that eight million 
Can you tell my listeners how much a percentage or, or dollar volume that was internationally? Uh, internationally, it was just about 10%, and this year we're looking at that to be closer to 15%. So what you're saying is we barely touched the international market so far. We are barely touched the surface there. So we've got plenty of growth to go, to go forward. Yes, sir. My guest today is John McCann. He is uh, the CEO of May Security International. They trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol M-A-C-E. John, in closing here, is there anything you would like to get out to my listeners that you and I didn't get a chance to talk about? Well, Everett, I do appreciate the time and, and your interest in the company. And the, the thing that I would tell everybody is, is that Mace brand pepper spray is legal in all 50 states. There's some restrictions in different states, but we always like to say it is your best friend. Whether you want to be outside hunting, whether you're fishing, or whether you're just taking a walk, between our Night Beams products that are LED-empowered, uh, lights that go with you wherever you are, to our Mace 911, which is like uh, OnStar on you, to our Mace brand pepper spray. It's, it, we create a, a great products that allow you to do what you want to do and empower your world. Can you give us your website? Sure. We are at www.mace.com. So mace.com. Uh, where there's a lot of information. There's a lot of just information on how to be safe, along with the, uh, the fact that you can buy products directly from the company. John, thank you very much for coming on the show today. We're going to check back with you and your company in about two or three months and uh, catch up and uh, see what things have changed. You got it. Thanks again. Have a great day.